It's that time, America. What goes up must wipe out. And wipe out they will, as 24 competitors fall headlong into a battle for $50,000 on the world's largest and most extraordinary obstacle course. We'll see magnificent falls, sensational tumbles, and astonishing spills. Only our mightiest four will advance the most challenging obstacle towards of all, the Wipeout Zone. The epic competition begins now. One will become a champion, but all will wipe out. Hello, America, and welcome to Wipeout. I'm John Anderson, here as always with John Henson. And Johnny, what do you say tonight we shake things up, try something a little different? Nope. I want to stick with laughing at people falling down. Why mess with perfection? Without further ado, let's get to it with a third member of our Wipeout team, Jill Wagner. Jill, who's first? All right, fellas. Karen Lopez is down here with me, and I see you touched your tummy there. Is there something you want to show us? Look. <gasps> Look, John, she's pregnant. We can't have a pregnant woman on the show. You probably shouldn't do Wipeout. I don't think it'd be good for the baby. I totally There's agree. There's no baby. What, what, what? Oh, wow, that was awkward. These are um, six months of cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh, it's a food baby. Where do food babies come from, John? Well, John, when a woman loves a cheeseburger very, very much... La, 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 I take it back. I don't want to hear it. Our food baby mama's due date for the first obstacle has arrived. <laughs> oh, oh when it delivered. Holy cow, is that Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds? That is Eddie Moten Jr. Eddie, what would you do with the $50,000? Uh, well, honestly, I would invest it towards my comic book. The, are you, like, the main character? The main character is based off of me. Yeah? What's he called? Jordan Baker, a.k.a. The Dragon. The Dragon. I think that's more of a tiger. Wait a minute. What does a dragon yeah, do? I don't know. Maybe that's so much like a fairy. <laughs> we'll just go. It's like a fairy dragon. Watch out, because I am one fierce dragon. Smooches. Wow, that is one fierce dragon I would not like to meet in the dark alley. Fierce dragon Eddie what? spreading his wings on his way to the fence flappers. Can dragons fly, John? Oh, oh. Yes, yes, they can fly. I don't see how the fence flappers could be any better. Oh, oh I was wrong. Unbelievable. Take a look at that again. There's only one word to describe this, Johnny. Smooches. And now, the smack Oh! Go, go, go! Stop, stop, stop! You out! You out! The beauty is in the design. Two sweeper arms here and here make the contestant look here. When they really should be looking here! <laughs> oh. uh, that's not all. Then they get up and do the same thing all over again. Not over. Oh. oh! She could go into the street. Oh! The smack wall is a miracle of modern engineering, John, and it's all hey, ours. Look at the dude at the top of the course. Jill, that's not just any dude. That's the dude from the Big Lebowski. Look at him; he's a dead ringer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's only one difference, though. His tooth pops out. Ah! Sorry. Why is everyone's teeth falling out today? Jill, it might have something to do with the fact that we built the course on top of a nuclear waste dump, but I'm just speculating. All right, well, let's see if the dude can cruise through the smack wall. Come on, dude! Oh, the dude is down. Alan, you just... Ah! 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 All right, go get him. All right, go get him. Oh, God, he just... Ah! Goodbye, movie! Okay, I'm guessing there's a story here. Oh, there is, and the third member of our team, Joe Wagner, is all over it. Michael White is down here with me. Michael, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Now, $50,000 could buy you a lot of things, and what would it buy you? I want to spend the $50,000 on breast reduction surgery. Yeah. Wait a minute. Ah, man boobs! My eyes! My Damn eyes! Boys. No, Jill, cut to camera two! Ah, too similar! Cut to camera three! Ah, oh, that's better. Whoa, who's that? That's 32-year-old salesman Edison Romeo. I'm supposed to jump on that? I got this, Johnny. Hand me the megaphone. Yes. He's gonna fly me over there? Yeah. I mean, I hope so. I hope so too, man. Come on, you can do it, Edison. The physics. Oh boy. And all this other mathematical stuff. Edison's thinking, John. He's waiting for a light bulb. I'm 300 pounds. I jump. That gonna propel me? Of course. It'll work. 
exactly how it was designed to. You have nothing to worry about. Just go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 holy marvel of modern engineering. It's just like you told him, Johnny. The shapeshifter working exactly as it was designed. That was good. No, that was great. I told you. No, I told you. Um, I live to farm because I just love farming. I major in fruit science and just something about it I just am in love with. What's your favorite fruit? Um, well, right now I like spinach. Spinach? I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. And what the world needs now is blob, sweet blob. Oh, oh, oh blob makes the world blob. And contestants go round. Uh, where is the splash, John? I don't know. Where'd she go? Uh-oh. Are we going to get in trouble for that? Take this, okay, and just go check the trees. Good thing I brought some treats. This is why I always carry a pocket full of bacon. Well, there are a few reasons, but this is definitely going to come in handy. Patrick, what do you do? Uh, I'm a lawyer. Aw, is that what you want to be when you grow up? But I am grown up. Uh, wait a minute. How old are you? I'm, I'm 30. Aww, you're so cute. I used to do that too when I was young. You're so cute, Patrick. Oh. You look like a squishy bear. Any luck finding the uh, missing contestant? No, but I found my missing frisbee. Oh, well, great. Let's just hope that nobody notices, huh? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? No, oh, oh, just oh, ahead of the new motivator, Johnny. Oh, 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 he gets bent oh, like Beckham. Oh, 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 he just got a free kick to the back of the head. Way to the fling set. She's on. Her knees. Oh. No. Our new mom unwisely assumed the fetal position. John, safety is important. Watch out. And there are four rules that every safety conscious person should follow. Watch out. It's always important to keep a cool head. Watch out. Know where the exits are. Watch out. Don't test electrical sockets with a fork. No, oh, watch out. And always watch out for low flying bird nerve. Ooh, dirty bird. Oh, oh, for that, you get another bird. Ooh. Let's go back to the top of the course. See what our next contestant has to say. Burton, what do you do? Uh, I'm an air conditioning repair, local 250. Okay. It's a whole bunch. You're a union man. Yes, ma'am. $50,000. Okay. What are you going to do with money? I'm going to get my ex-girlfriend's name lasered off my butt. <laughs> Lassie. Can we see it? You want to no. see it? Yuck. Say no, oh, yeah. Jill. No, no. There it is. No. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. That was awkward. First attempt, but she is back up and ready to give the Sinisters another try. Took Tracy three times to conquer the gut busters, hoping to get the Sinisters done in just two. Oh, a little love tap from the sweeper arm. Now a mad dash up to the top. Now she's not all the way there. Now in an awkward position. Whoa! Oh, my God. Fitness Freak gets it together before she takes on the smack wall. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, that's right, Tasha. Feel the burn. <laughs> Fitness Freak, right back up, ready for another go. I can do it. I can do it. you bastard. No, oh, Johnny, I would not talk smack to the smack wall. <laughs> oh, great Caesar's ghost. I am in love with this smack wall. Feeling their heavy hand of discipline today. Oh, <laughs> No one can seem to make heads <laughs> or tails up. <laughs> if anybody can port them, Johnny... Bigfoot! I see Bigfoot! No, John, that's Josh Parker, although he is actually a Bigfoot hunter. I think you should focus on finding a new wardrobe and maybe some current dance moves. Man's whole goal in life is to prove Bigfoot's existence. No, oh, his parents must be proud. Okay, nobody distract him. Let's see if he can at least conquer the smack wall. Hey, Josh! I think I see Bigfoot. Where? <laughs> Oh, Jill, that was just wrong. <laughs> we gotta get her some food, Johnny. She's turned evil. <sighs> okay, guys, I've got Gaspar Porcel down here with me. Yeah, rock and roll! <laughs> so you, yeah. you're excited. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. So you got a Cuban hat, you got the cigar, so uh, do you speak Spanish? Voy a ganar a wipeout. Voy a ganar los 50 mil dólares. Sensacional! Son míos! Wow, you are intense. That is one crazy yeah. Cuban, Anderson. Yeah. Perhaps the dancing queen will have better luck. She's on the third trampoline. Makes a jump. Yeah. Oh. Ah, her booty might shake involuntarily after that. Yeah. Feel of the cougar springing into action like a jungle cat. Whoa, she has gone from robbing the cradle to rocking the cradle. Yeah. 
Well, don't do that. Oh! 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 Don't do that. Oh, Sheila. Hey, John, who's this tiny little guy? Well, at 5'4", this is our smallest male competitor of the day. As Jill discovered he's a tiny man with a big name. Okay, guys, I've got Joel Grande down here with me. Welcome to the show, Joel. Thanks, Jill, for having me. Okay, so, Joel, tell us something really interesting about you from your past. Uh, well, I used to work for a candy company. You did? Like a, like a chocolate factory? Soda. <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. Can I take him home? Can I? Can I? Daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. So we have an 80-pound Oompa Loompa and a 1,000-pound hammer. Whoever's taking the Loompa home... Oh! Oh! Might get it slightly damaged. Oompa Loompa loompa de doo this door's been a puzzle for you. You! And you. And definitely you. Oh! Oh! Oh, man! Well, Jill, maybe our last contestant, Frank Beasley, can clean it all up and conquer this course. His friends say he is a force of nature. Oh, you don't say. Watch me! Jill, you okay down there? Well, at least the wind died down. <laughs> well, Jill, you don't have to worry for long because Frank Beasley is about to get the wind knocked out of him by our door knock. What the? Oh, oh my God, he's like a heavy metal ninja. Air knock! That's not supposed to happen. Frank escaping and heads over to the sucker punch wall. And he looks to be climbing the wall. Yeah, he's putting up quite a fight, but he is getting pounded. Oh, the forbidden speed bag. And he's still going, Johnny. He's not a force of nature, he's a freak of nature. Alright, this guy's starting to freak me out a little bit. A little bit? Are you watching this much up? Ah, but he's no match for the big balls. Jill, how's he look from your vantage point? Frank is crazy. Oh! Well, he's making good time approaching the Shakelator, an obstacle that nobody has made so far today. He's quickly around to the back side, but it's this final leap that gives everybody trouble. Hey, success! Wow. Oh, freaky. He's flying through the course. Well, unless the shapeshifter sends Frank to another dimension, it is almost a lock he'll make it to the next round. Here he goes. Hurrah! Oh! He's landed inside one of the openings. Talk about a square dude in a round hole. Buddy, this ain't a Ferris wheel, huh? Two more tickets, so you gotta get off. Here he goes. Freak yeah. of nature, oh. Frank Beasley will be moving on, and I'll be fighting a hiding spot where he can't find me. Is that guy wearing a dog collar? All right, guys, I've got Jeffrey Lee down here with me. Jeffrey, welcome to Wipeout. Hi, how are you? Hi, um, why have you got a dog collar on? I am here to... Uh, avenge all the helpless, homeless, abused, and misunderstood pit bulls. Oh, he rescues dogs. Uh, well, it's not babies, but it'll do. Would you like to say something to your pit bulls out there cheering for you? Hi, baby. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, that makes me want to bite his face off. Our leader and interested spectator. One last leap. Oh, my God. Brutal face plant. John, he nearly made it through the gut busters on his first... John, maybe 46-year-old Janet Peterson can handle the shake later. She's an air traffic controller, and they're known for being calm under intense pressure. Yeah, she's a bit of a spastic air traffic controller. Janet is apparently veered off the flight path. I'm thinking she doesn't even need a radio to communicate with the pilots. Just throw up in the window. Listen to her. Janet, this is Oceanic Flight 815 coming in for a landing. Please advise. She's cleared two ropes and looking very good now. This is just awkward to watch. I think this is a good time to take a break before it gets any more awkward. All right, Jill, you stay down there and let us know Say, how it uh, turns out, okay? Okay. It's PG. She did fairly well on that. <clears throat> you know, John, America's finest, have, they really, uh, well, when we come back, a lot more wipeouts after the break.